if your teacher asks you how many orbitals does lithium have, you need to go up to them and tell them that that's a terribly worded question. The official answer is that all atoms have all of the possible orbitals, and there's an infinite number of them. It's just that most of them are empty. So how many orbitals does it have? I don't know, infinite. If the question is how many orbitals actually have electrons in them, that's probably what they meant. To figure that out, let's see where lithium is on the periodic table. It's here in the second row, first column. Well, the fact that it's in the second row means that the first row, n equals one, first shell, sorry, n equals one, first shell is full, and then we have some electrons in n equals two. When n equals one, you're limited to L equals zero, ML equals zero, and then MS can be either plus a or minus a half. That's really only two options, and that's why the 1s sublevel, or rather the entire first shell, can only hold two electrons total. Lithium has one electron in its second shell, right? It's in the first column of the second row. Now, when n equals 2, l can be 0 or 1. And when l is 0, ml can be 0. And when l is 1, ml can be negative 1, 0, or 1. And then for each of those, the spin quantum number can be plus or minus a half. But the fact that there's only one combination here, n equals 2, l equals 0, is why the 2s sublevel only has one orbital. Spin quantum number means you can fit up to two electrons in there, but uh, actually lithium only has one, like we said. And the fact that we have three options here for ML is why the 2p sublevel usually has three of these, but they're all empty for lithium because lithium only has one electron in its second shell. So the answer is, how many occupied orbitals does lithium have? It's two. There are two of them. The 1s orbital is full, and then the 2s orbital is half full, and those are the only ones that have electrons with it in the ground state. The reason I'm being pedantic is because if you take regular lithium and then you shine light of a certain wavelength at it, these electrons can like jump up to 3d or 4f or 7s, I don't know, whatever. It doesn't mean that the orbitals don't exist, it just means that there's no electrons in them currently. Ugh. All right, that's enough of me eviscerating this question. The answer is probably two. Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.